Hi everyone, this is Veronica. Today we are going to discuss about Alzheimer, this disease, because here we will talk about the cure of this disease. Because until recently we have no cure for Alzheimer. All we can do is to stop the symptoms, stop the disease, to proceed further. But now here some scientists from China they are claiming that they have found some drug to treat Alzheimer. We'll discuss about that. So for queries and updates, you can connect with me on Instagram and Facebook because I feel together we can make a difference. So now let me tell you here about the Study IQ Premium content. You can become the member of Study IQ channel by paying rupees one fifty nine per month only. and there are many perks associated with this payment you will get to see the exclusive content by dr gorav garg daily current affairs monthly banking awareness monthly best to uh, 200 current affairs by prashant dhawan monthly compilation of most important geopolitics and ir issue and by dr mahipal singh rathore you will get monthly five premium videos which other subscribers won't be able to access who are not the members so now what is the relevance of today's topic it it will cover it will be covered under science and technology applications in everyday life objective level what is alzheimer you should know about it and subjective level what is a new drug and the challenges associated with it now see for nearly two decades doctors treating alzheimer patients have been frustrated by the lack of advance in medical research the most advanced drug that is used to treat the disease was last developed in 2003 and after 2003 we have not seen a breakthrough the alzheimer treatment and recently china has approved the world's first multi targeting and carbohydrate based drug gv971 for alzheimer disease now talking about alzheimer what is alzheimer you should know that it is first identified in 1906 by german physician his name was alois alzheimer and on his name only this disease is named and drugs currently in use to treat this neurodegenerative disorder symptomatically so they leave doctors almost helpless about elderly patients who may forget familiar facts and even the faces of family members because memory loss is one of the biggest symptoms of this alzheimers now talking about the latest news this chinese drug regulator they have approved medicine that improves cognitive functions in patients with mild to moderate levels of the disease this is a significant breakthrough now talking here about the sugar so this new drug oligomanate so let me write, write here it is oligomanate okay this new drug oligomanate this is a sugar which is derived from a chinese seaweed so you should know this sugar is derived from a chinese seaweed now talking about gut bacteria here it works by modifying gut bacteria to reduce the inflammation in the brain then clinical trial a clinical trial for this medicine was done on 818 people demonstrated solid and consistent cognition improvement among those treated versus a control group so, so whenever you do a science uh, or scientific experiment there is a control experiment control is always done positive it could be a positive control or a negative control for example there is one group of 1818 people who were given the medicine and there could be a group of 50 people who are who acted as control and no medicine was given to given to them now talking about different method this method adopted by chinese researcher is a departure from alzheimer drug development traditionally it has focused on attacking plaque that forms in the brain of patients this protein build up interferes with neural signaling because in the traditional so what happens in alzheimer in your brain the plaque there is an occurrence of plaques knots in the neurons also but and in traditional medicine we try to focus on this plaque we like to end these plaques but there is a deviation in the new method we are trying to build a protein that which inf- interferes with the neural signaling signaling so what happens if this is your brain a certain signal goes to your brain like you have to move and then the answer comes back but if there is a disruption in the signal then there could be memory loss there could be problem with your cognitive function that is what is happening in alzheimer so here the scientists are focusing upon this signaling mechanism right so this is how the deviation is there in the recent uh, drug which is developed 
but still there are challenges in china the regulatory agency has asked green valley to conduct more research on oligomanate safety the complete data on how exactly the cognitive function improved for patients on the drug versus those on placebo and how meaningful that was in patients life is still not known outside selected circles in china because this drug was done the clinical trials are done on certain people certain groups so we have to make sure that it works on the other community people living in the other places also other countries also so oligomanate must be tested on diverse groups of people to be affirmed and these trials need to include many more than 818 people individual so if the knowledge on the mode of action of chinese weed spreads because we need to give the awareness about the drug development of such kind to other scientists also among the medical researchers worldwide so that we will be able to make more potent compounds that could develop to target alzheimers so alzheimer this is the progressive disorder that causes brain cells to waste away and die so alzheimer is a disease in the most common cause of dementia so de- dementia later results in it could result in alzheimer so there is a continuous decline in decision in decision making thinking behavioral and social skills that disrupts a person's a person's ability to function independent so here you can see what is the difference between a healthy brain so this is a healthy brain this is alzheimer brain which shrinks down which is shrunken and here you can see plaques the knots are being formed and neurons are getting damaged they are getting wasted away and recently what happened there was a vaccine for alzheimer disease which was developed also so here we will talk about dr kiran bhaskar he, she is an indian american scientist at university of new mexico so led team uh, led her team who has developed an early version vaccine for alzheimer disease so vaccine intervention here could rescue memory impairments and prevent neurons from dying by reducing tau tangles so as i told you the tangles are formed these tangles are known as tau tangles in parts of brain that are critical to memory and learning now this vaccine uses vlp that is virus like particles okay virus like particles actually they have uh, done this experiment on mice to develop antibodies to get rid of tau angles in them which are responsible for breeding symptoms of alzheimer in humans also so basically this tau is the protein that when it occurs in tangled formation in the brain of alzheimer patients disrupts the ability of neurons to communicate with one another in the brain and body's immune system is actually capable of degenerating antibodies that are responsible for eliminating these tau angles so world alzheimer day is observed on 21st september every year to spread awareness about the alzheimer and dementia disease so here if we talk about india we house more than 4 million people suffering from some form of dementia and this number is set to triple by 2050 so this is a reason why there is a need to find the solution now worldwide at least 44 million people are living with dementia making the disease a global crisis that must be addressed and in western countries report a high rate of alzheimer but that could be mainly account of a better diagnosis compared to the countries like india where it is often ignored as a natural process of aging because as people are aging we think okay memory loss is a normal problem we totally ignore this but that we should not ignore usually alzheimer starts uh, after 50 so we should be careful about our parents about our relatives who are nearing 50 because this disease could develop in right so that is why alzheimer is very important to discuss so today's the purpose of today's video is obviously for your education for your exam but along with it awareness is very necessary because in india we totally ignore the mental health so this is all about today's lecture thank you so this is a channel study iq if you are preparing for upsc or any government exam our pen drive and tablet courses are available if you are preparing for upsc csc 2020 our pen drive course is available where you can find 100% coverage of upsc vas syllabus daily current affair updates will be available self paced learning process is provided 
This course has been prepared by top faculties of Study IQ, and now you can purchase this course at rupees six twenty five per month only. For additional information, you can visit our site, and there are the phone numbers also given. You can call them and gain the additional information. You can connect with me for my video updates on Instagram and Facebook because I feel together we can make a huge difference. For queries, you can even email me. Thank you so much.